right so we're down here at the river but the thing is there's a lot of trout fishermen down here they really don't bother the smallmouth that are bedding now they're small but it's just kind of cool to see them spawn you know, in a river type situation you know it's kind of like you just walk up and there they are you can see they made their little pea gravel bed and it's just kind of cool logan uh he's gonna strap his waders on and we're gonna try to get like some underwater footage of these fish being caught which is super cool because this water is like super clear it's just gonna be fun anyway just to kind of you know it's something different fishing from the bank not worrying about putting a boat in and hiking a little bit because we got a we got a pretty good hike that we have to do in order to get to this spot water is super clear see there's my truck pretty good little hike it's a medium light rod I never thought I would use a reel cover, but you know what? They came with the reel, so why not? So I'm gonna take this Ned ball head off and put on a Ike's micro jig. Carry these in my pocket. So that's a little peanut butter and jelly with a drop crawl trailer. It's on crooked too. I'm just gonna put this dude on. This is what I'm gonna fish with. Is he chasing it? Can you upload? Can you upla Ike's micro jig? See, Logan is ready just because he's got his waders on. And uh, this is how we do work around here, man. We don't do mess it. around, right? Yeah. All right, so we got the Osmo. Well, we didn't. Logan. Logan waders with his... Uh, Can you turn that guy's car off? Like so we got the Osmo in the water. It's right on the small mouse bed. And Logan's got a... Quiver 4.5. He's got a Nico rig. I've got a. Oh, you got a covert spinning rod? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's my trout rod. But yeah, we got the Osmo oh, in the water on the bed. So the fish kind of goes away for a little bit and then he'll come back because smallmouths are pretty aggressive, especially these river smallmouths. So we're going to we're gonna try and get this on, on film. Now, what'd you say again? I said they'll eat it before it's in the camera. Oh, he's about to eat it right now. They'll try to eat it before it's in view of the camera. So I just let him spit it out. Oh, he just ate it. Oh, do it. Do it. No, I, I didn't. Throw yours in there. Dude. Drop it right in front of the camera. things are so freaking aggressive man and you can probably catch this fish like 20 times in a day that was freaking awesome now logan's releasing it so big. we're uh we're actually biologists <laughs> these river smallmouth are so aggressive like he's already back on his bed and logan could probably throw that quiver in there and catch him again okay. so but the cool yeah let's see i'm not gonna set the hook but but the cool thing about it is there a snake came in the small mouse bed and i hope that was on camera on the underwater camera because that was wicked dude should i just catch him again? huh should i just catch him again do it just catch him he's chasing another fish out he likes that quiver <laughs> logan knocked the camera over so now he has to go fix it. Don't be getting it all dusty and bad quality in there. So we got a uh, we got another one on the bed right here. It's you know probably look at him chasing that. 
that was a little small mouse. I think he was chasing away. But dude, these small mouse are like right up on the bank, so and it's super clear water, like I said. This one is about the same size, a little bit bigger than it's the other a one. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. So it's probably just a touch. Not just a much. touch, yeah. But they're that's all, all it needs to be is a touch. They're all about the same size. Yeah. Here. But they're fun though, man. This is fun. Yeah, he's got it. Get him. Get him. All right, guys, well, that was super fun, and hopefully we can get some more uh, smallmouth underwater footage. There wasn't really a lot there. It was like 45 degrees this morning, so maybe some of them pushed off the bed. Not sure about like how river smallies do. But um, yeah, that was super cool. Got some decent underwater footage for you to look at on how fish act when something comes in their bed, like the front row seat to how fish act. You know, the first one was really aggressive. The second one was mm, not so much aggressive, but it's just kind of cool to see them in that environment. It just amazes me. The first one, a snake came out and actually went down in the bed almost, and the fish chased it away. The fish actually nipped at that snake. Obviously, I didn't get it all under the underwater camera, but that would have been freaking awesome if I'd have got that. But thanks for watching my video. Subscribe if you haven't. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, Twitter every once in a while. I'm getting ready to go eat me some Mexican food. So, uh, till next time, we'll catch you on the flip flop. <laughs>